Hello and welcome. If you're like me and you heard about a website that allows you to create an app like the MIT App Inventor does, then you want to try it out without having to log into anything. You just want to visit a website and start working or following a tutorial immediately. You probably find the website via Google and click it. And then you just look for a Start button. And there it is, Create Apps, uh, right at the top right. And if you click this, then you get to this page which requires you to log in with Google, with your Google account, with your Gmail, with your whatever you have. And maybe you don't want that, uh, or maybe you don't have one, or maybe you are planning to do a course with, uh, let's say, 20 students, and you don't want them to be required to log in or to have an email account, uh, let alone a Google account, and you don't want to create 20 Google accounts because that will probably just uh, trigger their spam detectors and uh, they will not allow you to create them unless you have 20 phone numbers to validate them as well. So this is a, a potential huge mess. And maybe you already decided to abandon App Inventor, but there is a way to use MIT App Inventor without logging in, thankfully. So you just go to this website instead, co.appinventor.mit.edu slash login. And uh, there's a link to this in the description of this video. There is no link on the main page to this, I think, which is a really weird uh, fact. It's, it's strange. It's strange, I think. Well, whichever. You can just go to this website and uh, press continue without an account, which is good. Right, so we just press this button. And here we go. It just tells us your uh, code is so and so. Heck, cunny, gate, have. They certainly don't have a filter against potential words, I think. So, oh boy, I can only imagine what kind of things uh, the youngest students will get with this. Anyways, hopefully they will not think of anything, uh, anything with that. And let's just press continue and continue. And here you have it. There's your project menu, let's say. Here you just press start new projects and then call this hello YouTube, for example. And you can go ahead and start making your app. Dragging in that image. Here we go. Uploading those images from uh, the computer. There we go again. And then picking those images in your image elements on your uh, on your canvas and uh, adjusting the size and stuff like that. So that's how easy it is. You don't need an account. You don't need to log in. What you can do once you did that, you, maybe you saw at the beginning there was a code displayed. Uh, you can go to help about and there you will see this code. All right, you can reuse this. Uh, and your students can reuse it. And you can use, for example, Notepad to write it down. Control C, Control. Can't seem to be using Control C to copy this. I don't know, maybe my keyboard has an issue. All right, so I can just right click and copy it after double clicking it. Is it double clicking? It's triple clicking. Yeah, it's double clicking and dragging. Right, so this code you should keep and uh, we'll just try it out. What if we go to incognito mode? And now we go to this website again, code.appinventor. Yada yada yada. Then we can enter the code in here, which is really, really bad because you have to enter the separate parts separately. That is, is this intentionally annoying? I don't know. I hope not. Anyways, it's as long as you can copy paste quickly, it's fine. And uh, yeah, this is basically a fresh browser, and it will still work, I think. Let's see. Are you loading the content? Yep, here is the project and it shows me that info again and here's the pig from earlier. So that's how easy it is and that's how it works if you don't use your Google account. Uh, as I said, you can always find your code in the about page and help slash about, help about. And just if you, yeah, you can't copy it with a keyboard for some reason, maybe it's just me, just use your right mouse button. I hope this helped, have fun making apps and I'll see you next time. Until then, ciao!